All right. Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia. This is the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 649. The category is the Autumn Trivia Challenge. This one, ATC number 11, a 21 question trivia quiz with questions from all different categories of varying levels of difficulty. There's 20 questions in the primary quiz and a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end. Good luck. Question one. Who led the 1959 revolution that overthrew Fulgencia Batista in Cuba and remained in power as dictator until 2008? The answer is Fidel Castro. Question 2. The oboe, flute, bassoon, English horn, piccolo, recorder, saxophone and clarinet all fall into what classification of musical instruments? Those are all woodwinds. Question number three. Which legendary king of Greek mythology was granted by Dionysus the ability to turn anything he touched into gold. The answer is King Midas. Question number four. The first in the periodic table, what element usually in the form of a gas, consists of one proton and one electron and makes up about 75% of the universe. The answer is hydrogen. Question number five. What was the name of the Massachusetts nurse who founded the American Red Cross and was known during the Civil War as the Angel of the Battlefield. The answer is Clara Barton. Question number six. What is the name of the infectious agents composed mainly of nucleic acid with a protein coat which cause measles, mumps, yellow fever, polio, and influenza. The agent we're looking for is a virus. Question number seven. What is the name of the popular literary form that is a short tale in prose or poetry that emphasizes a moral and usually has animals as the main characters. The answer is a fable. Question number eight. Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh had their adventures in the Hundred Acre Wood. In what forest did Robin Hood have his adventures? The answer is Sherwood Forest. Question nine, born in Tuscumbia, Alabama, what was the name of the woman who was blind and deaf from the age of two and overcame many handicaps to become a famous lecturer and scholar. The answer is Helen Keller. Question number 10. What is the name of the American story writer, critic, and poet who had several short stories like The Murders in the Rue Morgue, The Fall of the House of Usher, and The Tell-Tale Heart. His name 
was Edgar Allan Poe. And question 11. In classical Greek drama, what is the term for the group of dancers and singers who comment on the action of the play? That group is known as the Chorus. Question 12. M. H. Klaprath discovered what radioactive metallic element in oxide form in 1789, whose rare 235 isotope is the only naturally occurring fission fuel for nuclear energy? The answer is uranium. Question 13. The U.S. Civil War officially began in 1861 with the Confederate shelling of what Union fort located in South Carolina's Charleston Harbor? That fort was Fort Sumter. Question 14. What river, the longest river on the European continent, empties into the Caspian Sea and has played a critical part in the life of the Russian people? The answer is the Volga River. Question 15. President Franklin Roosevelt first coined the name in 1941 for what international organization that was established immediately after World War II as a means of maintaining international peace? That organization is the United Nations. Question 16. Consisting chiefly of iron and nickel, it is the central part of the earth. What is this hot, dense center of the earth called? The center of the earth is called the core. Question number 17. From the Greek words meaning weight and measure, what is the name of the scientific instrument used in meteorology to measure atmospheric pressure? The instrument we're looking for is a barometer. Question number 18. On a mountaintop near Charlottesville, Virginia, sits the home designed and built by Thomas Jefferson. What did he call this home? Thomas Jefferson's home was known as Monticello. Question number 19. What is the term used for the metric unit of measure that equals one one hundredth of the length of a meter? Don't overthink it. One one hundredth of a meter is a centimeter. Question number 20. What is the name of the U.S. Vice President under Thomas Jefferson who mortally wounded his political rival Alexander Hamilton in a duel? That man was Aaron Burr. All right, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching today's uh, episode of Road Trippia. I forgot what the show was called. This is Road Trippia. It's a once a day road trip trivia quiz. These games are meant to be played uh, while you're driving. You can have this going. 
It, you don't have to look at it. All the questions are read out loud, hopefully clearly, hopefully where you can understand them. Gives you just enough time to shout out the answer. You can play either by yourself or if you got a car full of people. Everybody has the exact same opportunity to get the answers. Nobody's reading the questions before it's popped up. Everybody hears them at the same time. All you do is shout out the answer. The first one to get it right or the only one that gets it right is obviously the one that gets the point. It's a good way to spend a road trip or if you're just driving to work and you want to warm your brain up a little bit rather than listening to the same old songs you hear on the radio every day, you can play a new trivia quiz every day on the way to work or you can listen to any of the 650 other quizzes that we have on almost every category you can think of we've got a quiz for it it's just a great little way to break up the monotony of morning radio or you know the the songs you hear on the radio every day anyways that was the idea behind road trivia and the idea behind the name road trivia hopefully you guys are enjoying it no matter how you're playing it even if you're just playing it at home or watching it on your phone hopefully you're enjoying it here's question 21 the tiebreaker for today's quiz. Which New England poet wrote of the American Revolution in Paul Revere's Ride? The name of the poet who wrote about Paul Revere's Ride was Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. All right, check back tomorrow for another new trivia quiz. It'll it'll be another one of the autumn trivia challenges, so just 21 random questions. See you then.